All right, so in today's worth of the video, we're actually going to be playing an old vehicle that I just really enjoyed to play, but I've really not played it since it got moved up to 6.7, which is the T44. This vehicle used to be extremely good. It's battle rating 6.3, but now since it's battle rating 6.7, it's really kind of rough to actually ever recommend playing this vehicle just because just one BR gap away from you, you have the, uh, where's it at? It's the T44 100. Like one BR gap. You're 6'7 with a T44, T44 100, 7.0. And the reason behind that is, is because the gun on the T44 is very weak for this battle rating. It's the same 85 millimeter that you'll find on the T3045s, but you do have an extra round, which is this new BR367 round. Honestly, it's not going to do anything extra for you. It's going to give you a little bit more penetration, but coming up against like Tiger 2s, coming up against like Ferdinands or vehicles like the Yag Tiger. Is going to be a huge like battle trying to actually defeat those vehicles just because you don't have enough pen it's one of the very few vehicles actually that i recommend bringing at least some apcr just in case you do get into a fight with like a tiger 2 or vehicles that you just can't pin from the front at least then with the apcr you'll be able to pin them but overall it's a vehicle that is extremely good the only real downside to this vehicle is once again the gun it's very weak for the battle rating but also the armor is okay. I mean, like you have this frontal plate, which is basically immune to almost everything around the battle rating of 6.7. The only thing that really will just be able to lull pin this is like Yak Tigers, T-34s from America. But most of the time that you ever killed from the front with a T-44 is going to be through your turret itself. So if you're ever playing the T-44, T-44 100, 100% if you have bushes and, and I have the six pack here, it would be to just cover everything up to confuse the enemy of where to even do that. So I know bushes are like a thing that people don't really like within War Thunder. I understand this is really overpowered for what it is. But if you're looking for the ultimate meta of the T-44s is to do something like this to where they just don't know where to shoot you. And look at that. You basically are a bush now. So yeah, we're not going to be playing like this. I feel like this is the most meta way to play with the T-44 though. But we'll see how we do without the bushes. So let's get on to the gameplay. All right, so our first game in the T-44 isn't amazing. We have a straight up tier to 7-7. Seven, seven. So uh, probably the worst thing that we can see is any of the stabilized tanks for Britain. I'd probably say it's probably going to be very hard. Like, you know, I don't really want to face like a conqueror right now. But at the same time, I feel like we can maybe get this to work with the T-44. So there's one thing I do want to announce right now is that you guys can definitely request a lot more of these vehicles. Like if you want me to play something with a War Thunder, just make sure to leave it within the comment section of this video and I will make sure to play it at some point. I really do enjoy this sort of thing because I've been not playing War Thunder for a good bit now, but being able to come back to these vehicles that I've played before and just getting like either a new experience with them or something like that is always just very fun to me. But yeah, I do enjoy making these videos and hopefully you guys do enjoy them as well. I'm not really sure what I want to do on this map because I don't really have the gun to go out there towards like the two, three line of like B and C, but also I don't really have the gun to just like push forward within the town itself. So what I think we might do is we might just go out here a little bit, but not go the extreme that we normally would go. Oh, there's something way out there already. It's probably like a Hellcat or something. So here, let's get out in this area. Oh, it's an AML. Hello. I can't believe I just missed that. You know what? Maybe it is an off day. I'm just coming off the Panther video right now that I made today. And I don't know. I just feel like I'm doing bored today. Maybe it just is an off day. Go oh, see here. They have something up here. This guy. Walker Bulldog. More worried about that like T29 right now than um of a cannon or anything. This dude's like a huge threat or anything. So, can we hit his ammo? Well, we hit his ammo. He didn't go pop. At least then he went pop, even though it bounced and then went in. All right. So what else do we have over here? Should be like a T29 or something. Come on, I'm looking for a fox, not an AMX-13 that just randomly appeared again. You can't, you can't have a fox on this map and then, and then expect me to just care about the like people in front of me again. All right, well, backup spawn in a T-44 again. 
I, I wish we could use that like position better. I felt like we was in a good position. It just let like I don't know. We just couldn't get a push in. What even are you that the martyr didn't like whack you? What even got around us? So. All right, if our martyr couldn't pin you with his like 20 mil, I'm actually kind of like worried about what this thing is. What even could get around us like that? Here, martyr, get up and repair so I can use you as like bait. Go up there, rush at him. Oh, it's a little fox. What a surprise. I was about to say, like, who would have guessed it's a fox? Please, no. I think our best, like, thing right now is just to, like, try to get into a better position. Because, yeah, we're not, like, winning that fight at all. Hello. Yeah, who would have guessed it's not going to fuse? All right, we just are running now. We we are we are scared. We don't want to deal with all these guys. Ah uh, yes, the wonderful. Come on. Hey, he's gonna get his gun up, dude. Man, I hate M109 so much. Like you can shoot them over and over and over. They just don't have enough armor to fuse anything, so they just automatically just win every single time. Like, no armor, best armor is so annoying to face against, especially whenever you shoot in, like, the engine, and you're like, oh, that will actually, like, fuse it and do a bunch of damage because it's, like, more armor in that general area, and then it's not. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right, so it's an up tier to 7-7 once again. I don't think that's a great thing because we have a T T-44 with an 85 millimeter on a map where everyone is going to be facing you. So, this is not going to be great, I don't think. Uh, we'll try it, but, you know, you never know what's going to happen with these types of maps. Hopefully our team, like, starts steamrolling and we're able to, like, come in with them and do a bunch of damage. But, yeah, like, I could be in a T44-100, like, at this point, and it, it's just better. Like, having, having, like, one BR gap between these vehicles is kind of just insane. Like... This thing 6.7, that thing 7.0 has a, it has probably like a two times better gun than this vehicle has. Like my APCR, which is what I would have to use to pin like a Tiger 2, for example, is, is their basic round. Like they, they have an APHE, which has about the same amount of pen as that, right? So it's insane. Yeah, we gotta, gotta use this thing. But yeah, we'll try it. Hopefully we can make it work, but I don't have much hope for a map like this though. All right, so I feel like what we need to do is we need to, like, use our teammates as help, in a way. Hopefully we can get them to help us. Yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen to that dude. That, though, that's a that's a tiger. Yeah, you go deal with him. Uh, my gun's not strong enough for this. Yep, I, I go other way. Get the wonderful M41 Walker Bulldog out of there. Alright, we do have an IS-3 moving up, so hopefully he can be our armor will be something for him. I don't think we're going to really be a gun. Yeah, that right side over there is kind of in a, in a bad position right now. We are becoming a rat within the mall. Like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta find the scabs here. We gotta, we gotta find our PMC kill zone uh, interchange at night. All right, I think we can safely push now, but I'm going to use this light tiger to like clear this area a little bit more because there's a lot of areas where I could get shot over here. All right, tiger P, hello. I can't believe I just like messed that up. Yeah, he's going nowhere to put me. God, I can't believe I just messed that up, man. Uh, today is just an off day. I can I can just feel it. I, I'm making like such dumb mistakes today that I normally just never make. Oh well, we'll we'll keep on trying. I don't know, like I, I, this these matches are just not in my favor. Like I don't have a great gun. I'm in a seven-seven matchmaker. Whenever like this thing's really a six-three vehicle. And I'd rather be in like the T44-100 at least. 
But yeah, we're just doing the best we can with the situation we're dealt. Hopefully next game we get like a down tier or something. Like this is ridiculous. Like 7-7 seven, seven, pretty much every single game. Alright, excuse me guys. I gotta go back to where I was at previously before I um, skill issued and died. So uh, thank you. Thank you for welcoming me back here. Okay, now where was I at? Is that tiger still alive? Not sure. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do. Um, there's a mouse. He's pushing up to my left side. Literally, this is a this is a six seven down tier, so it's uh the mouse's playground. Yeah. I don't exactly know what I do in this situation. Waiting to see if this like tiger like moves forward, but you know how that is waiting on somebody. Uh, come on, dog. You're you. Today is just not my day. Today seriously isn't. <laughs> Today seriously just is not my day. Oh my god, I am making so many brain dead mistakes today. It's ridiculous. Oh well. Let's go into Yak 15 and just see what we can do, but we'll go into the next game. Alright, so for our second game here, it seems like we got a decent map. I, I would actually say this is a pretty good map to play the T44 on, just depending on what we kind of see around the place. But overall, I mean, it seems like we keep getting up to here to like 7-7 seven, seven and like 7-3s, but, you know, kind of is what it is. It's kind of sad, though, that like we have the T44-100 at just like 0.3 of a BR higher than this thing is. So majority of time whenever you get it up to even like a 7-0 up tier it would probably been more beneficial just to put it to t44 100 at least then you have a gun that can pin tigers like this gun can't you have to get extremely lucky and actually shoot the areas that you can actually pin on the like uh, gunner's optic and you have to use your apcr but i don't know it seems like it's a very interesting little vehicle we have here. It's at a weird battle rating, which is always just a very kind of sad. Also, whatever smoke grenade that was, or smoke shell, that's a huge smoke shell. Kind of crazy. But well, we'll see how we can play on this map, and let's see how we do. But what I think I want to do on this map is I want to, like, control alpha, but over in, like, this area of the map. Our T-92 is coming this direction with us. We're gonna wait right here. Okay, he's passing. Get ready to shoot him when he comes like in this direction over here. I'll go. I think he kind of had the same idea that I was gonna try to do here, which is uh, go to this area and kind of like control alpha as much as I can from this position. It's a jumbo. He's angling his tank though, which is uh, good for me. There we go. You don't angle jumbos. Don't angle them, please. You give an easy road, road wheel shot every single time. Yeah, whatever you do, if you're playing jumbos, do not angle. Like, if you're going to engage an enemy, engage them as true as you possibly can. Because as soon as you angle your tank, you just give me such an easy shot to take. And it doesn't even need to be like a huge angle or anything. It can just be slightly. I don't prefer this situation because I wasn't sure what it is. It kind of looked like a T25, but I'm not sure. Hello there. Thank you for missing me. I want to do something stupid here. I want him to try to think that I'm just like stupid. Alright, he didn't push. Kind of sad. Let's use this building to like cover my left side. Alright, so here's what I wanted to do. I know my speed can actually do something, so I'm going to shoot. I want him to push, but I get this whole entire area right in here to push up. Oh, it should be fine. Don't bomb me. That's not mega cool. Uh, come on. Come on, I'm gonna get bombed whenever I'm trying to, like, do some, like, a big brain, like, mega strategy here. It does not cool at all. Uh, and I got volumetric on his tracks. Alright, good. He doesn't know what to do. Hello. I couldn't use my big brain strategy. Because I got bombed and got tracked. I wanted to be big brain here. Oh no, he's going to bomb them. Yeah, let's just let the bombs take care of him. I was going to run out there and get tracked again from my own friendly. 
Alright, we should have a good amount of people over to our right side right now. I guess give this jumbo the good old one two. Ah, should have should have been like prepared to shoot with that one. They're coming from our left side now. That dude's way down there. Uh, this is a situation here. I'm just gonna move this way because I don't want to engage these guys from the front. Let's see, maybe I'll give me a shot. I come this way. They have one like down here though. Okay, get that one. That one, the one I was looking for actually. Oh, another one. Ah. I'm surprised Duster's doing Duster stuff there. Uh, oh, we're just gonna push it because I don't want this Duster like lighting me up here. Wow, what a what a wonderful penetration we had on the Duster. I hear so many bombs going off and I'm just scared I'm going to die at like any second. Alright, let's go to Alpha, or not Alpha, but uh, Charlie. So we can get to capture point. Oh, just another duster. Ah. Uh, oh, my MG's out. No. There go. Get the ammo. Almost out of rounds here. There's also 1,000% how we get bombed here as we get on that capture point. We just need to like leave it as ASAP. All right, so an M109 is towards my right over here. We want a nuke. We're just going to like play super aggressive here. There we go. All right, we need one more kill, and we have a nuke probably. I mean. Relatively speaking, T-44 is still insanely good for what it is. I mean, we got close to a nuke, but, you know, kind of didn't have that one more paid actor to kill. But yeah, this is the T-44. Like, it's still an insanely good vehicle. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this type of video. Remember to like and sub to the channel, and also put in the comments what type of vehicles you would want to see in the future when it comes to these videos. Hope everyone has a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys in the next War Thunder video.